Hello there, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Investment Mindset. Today, I would like to do a follow-up video on Revenue Berhad Stock Ticker Revenue Trading on Bursa Malaysia. Wow, what a rough week revenue has had thus far. It has been going downhill since Monday from a high of 38.5 cents to trade down all the way to a new all-time low of 26 cents today before it closes back up at 27.5 cents and look at the volume today it flushes down with huge volume to about 128 million versus its average volume of about 27.5 million this tell me that this could be the final flushing down of the weak hands before the big funds or the big guys want to pump this stock price up again I did buy in more to dollar cost average down my position on this trade at uh, 26.5 cents today which I did also share it on both my IG and Facebook. If you were to ask me if I expect such a drop, of course not. If you did watch my first video on this stock, I did mention that at 36.5 cents, I already find it to be attractive. Never would I thought it would go down all the way below its previous all-time low of 29.5 cents which was registered way back to July 2018. The recent disposal of shares by Revenue Group Berhad's Managing Director come Alternative Chairman Datuk Adi Ng Chi Siong of 25.34 million representing 5.26% of the total issued uh, share capital did not help in the sentiment of this stock at all. Eddie also now ceased to be the substantial shareholder of the group, according to the group's Bursa Malaysia filing on Tuesday, March the 14th. And the ongoing boardroom tussle, together with the legal charge on both of the former directors, which is uh, Dino Ng Shifan and Brian Ng Shichiao, with uh, fraudulently causing a bank employer to dispose of a vehicle belonging to the company without resolution from its boards of director. All this slew of negative news is definitely causing the stock price to plunge lower irrationally on the back of a weak market which we are trading in now. If you have no idea, the current market is currently in a fearful boat with the US regional banks downfall and subsequent bailout. And when trading in a fearful market, any negative news would be amplified and on the other hand, any positive news would be downplayed as well. If this video is helpful to you and you enjoy this type of content, do leave a like and subscribe and press the bell so that you will not miss out on my next video. Thank you. Now let us look at the chart. Despite the new all-time low registered today, both the indicators below showed a positive divergence. When this happens, it usually tells us that the stock is currently undergoing an accumulation phase. And when I look at the weekly time frame chart, I notice currently there are three pivot points on the downtrend. Usually if three or more pivots appeared on a downtrend, it usually indicates that the chart may want to reverse its downtrend. Of course, I will not be buying just based on this factor alone. The second factor I discovered is there has been new insider huge buying on few occasions as recent as 21st to 22nd March at around 36 cents per share. For educational purpose, insider could be selling its stock for various reasons but when insider buys with huge amount, there could only be one reason and that is they believe the share price is going to rise in the near future. And the third factor is the fundamental financial indices. Let us take a look at Revenue Berhad Net Tangible Asset Per Share or NTAPS in short. It is currently at 26.6 cents where the net worth per share is at 32.6 cents. So what is the difference between net worth and net tangible asset? The difference between tangible net worth and net worth is that tangible net worth includes only assets that you can physically touch and actually convert into cash, while net worth 
also adds in assets that cannot be physically held, such as copyrights or patents. So at the current price, revenue Berhad is trading is indeed very attractive at least to me. As long as the company is still an ongoing concern, the stock price should be trading way above these two indices in my opinion. Based on its latest balance sheet, I would say revenue per heart is still within a healthy financial position, at least in the medium to short term. Personally, I have to like revenue per heart stock at this low and oversold level. To me, one of the Warren Buffett's most famous quote, that is, be fearful when others are greedy and be greedy when others are fearful, resonates well on this trade. I'm going to take my calculative risk on this trade based on the above three factors I have shared earlier. Most likely, the way I see it, this stock is going to surge back up in the next week and making higher low before it pop up higher to around first about 36 cents and consolidate a while before pushing back to at least 46 cents which is also the 50 days moving averages. In trading stock, we need to constantly keep our emotion in check. I know everyone wants all trade to work out instantly. We all live in a world of instant gratification. But for stock trades, not all trades will play out instantly. Sometimes we need lots of patience for a trade to work out. I would say this trade would most likely play out within earliest a month or within three months time. If you do not have a strong heart, my advice for you is to choose other less volatile trades like uh, MOEG and Catcher, where I did also make videos on both of these stocks to analyze on its potential upside. So before I end my video, as usual, if you find value in my video, do give a like, subscribe if you have not done so, and do turn on the notification bell so that you will not miss out on any of my future uploads. Bye and I shall see you again in my next video.